I became involved in the brain tumor community when my father was first diagnosed with an anaplastic ependymoma in 2002. And it was actually through the start of the CERN Foundation that I became a patient voice and family voice at the table with other scientists and clinicians as they would discuss clinical trials and research efforts. I was diagnosed in uh, June of 2016 with glioblastoma. Being a patient advocate, it includes knowing when to center your experience uh, to motivate action in others, uh, but to always be mindful of those who you are representing. And so understanding your own story, but then also really listening closely for other people's stories, and then bringing those uh, together in a meaningful way. The CERN Foundation started in 2006 upon my father's first recurrence with anaplastic ependymoma. And the reason that it was started was because there was no information for adults with ependymoma, and there was very little information for children with this disease. And we knew that there was a lot of discovery that needed to happen to catch up to other tumor types that had made advancements with not only diagnostic classification, but also with clinical trials. One big challenge is just the invisible nature uh, of what it is to live with a brain tumor or brain uh, cancer. You know, if you were to freeze frame this conversation right now and show my picture to somebody, they'd be like, well, there's probably nothing wrong with that guy. And yet behind the scenes, seizures and motor impairment and the uncertainty of facing your mortality, those are just frustrating, challenging aspects of, of being a patient advocate with this disease. In the next decade, I hope to see safe and effective targeted treatments that not only cure the disease, but also preserve quality of life. Partnering with the NCI Connect, I hope that that is made a reality. And our contributions are to educate the community about the clinical trials and the studies that are happening right now that are gonna get us to that milestone in 10 years. You know, we are all in this together. So I think for the brain tumor community, just we need to lean into that family aspect that we all come from different backgrounds and yet we're brought together by this very serious thing. And that very serious thing will provide support and solidarity in ways that you would be surprised about. The message that I have for the brain and spine tumor community is of hope. I am fortunate enough to see firsthand research efforts that are taking place right now. So I know that there is a team in place and other people and other networks that are working together to bring forth a cure. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, National Institutes of Health, National Cancer Institute, cancer.gov, 1-800-4-CANCER.